I agree, it's not fun. Okay, you guys get some pretty explosive guys that can pick you up and spike you pretty good. Alright? So he's like, well, what do I do to avoid that? So that's a good question. Alright, so I get to my feet. You know, I, I, I got a good stand-up going, I did everything right, but Ryan Strong he gets his hands locked, okay? Now, there's a couple different locks here. He's got just a traditional wrestling lock on, okay? So I'm gonna attack that one way. Alright? First things first, where are my hips supposed to be? Down, down, down. Where's my legs supposed to be? Staggered and turn. Okay. Now my hip that's out, I'm gonna take his lock and I'm gonna shove it to that hip. Alright? I don't want to keep his lock here. His arms make it feel pretty comfortable here. The more I get his lock out of my hip, it stretches him. See his lock's loosening already. Alright? It's he's like and I know I'm kind of fat right now and a little heavier than him. But still, he, he, it's gonna make it harder for him, okay? So my feet are staggered. Alright? My hips are down and out. And I take his lock and I physically move it to that hip. Now I turn my hands and I attack his hands like this. Alright, so if the guy's hands are locked, if the guy's hands are locked like this, like the wrestling lock, okay? Drop the thumbs are together like this. I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna use the butts of my, my finger or my palms and I'm gonna attack his hands. Like this. Okay? Now once his hands break, I don't need hand control. His hands are broke. Okay, it's not important to grab him. As soon as his hands break, turn and cut. Okay? Turn and cut. So my hips are down and out, my legs are turned, I fight his hands, I cut into my stance. Hold on, hold on. Alright? So, what do I gotta do? I'm to my feet, he's got his hands locked. I gotta help myself. I gotta help myself, right? Hold on, hold on. I gotta help myself. My hips are down and out, my legs stagger. Now I can execute a technique, right? I help myself, now I can help get away. I take my lock, get it to the hip. He's already loosened. I butt his hands off, as soon as his hands are broke, I cut down and away. Now another way to lock is like this, right? Like this. So if Brian locks like this, so we get like we're getting two for one here, right? It's like Walmart, two for one special. <laughs> All right. So if his hands are locked like this, I'm gonna take my thumbs and I'm just gonna dig them out, dig them out, dig them out, dig them out. All right. So the same thing applies here, though. My hips are down and out. My hips, my foot's turn, so my hips out even more. Now I can help you guys. You gotta help yourself before I help you. Take the lock, put it on the hip. I look at his hands, so they're locked like this. I dig my thumbs in. As soon as they break, I can cut. Alright, so what's the keys? My hips are down and out. Hold on, hold on. My hips are down and out. My stagger, my feet are staggered. Alright? My head's pushing back into him. And then I put the hands on the hip. And I see what kind of lock he's got. He's got a wrestling lock. What do I do? Palms. I use my palms, right? Turn his hands. He's like a cradle lock. What do I do? Dig with my thumbs. As soon as his hands break, do I need hand control? No. What do I do? Cut. Cut. And the only reason you can cut here without getting hand control is your hips turn. You're already fast. Quick turn. All right? I'm going to answer you guys, little guys' questions here as soon as I let the group go. All right? So you guys ready to work it? You guys need to see anything again? You guys got it? Okay, here we go. One, two.